Breaking. Police said that they will conclude with the investigation on a Saturday and an autopsy will be done. So this was made known in the police office with um, Iabojo, Kiki and other actresses that was... Oh my God. Iabojo is just a sweet soul. She even broke down in tears. Oh my God. Please, let's listen to her. Hell. Now we can be done. Well Thank you. Now we can. An autopsy will be done. Yeah. Autopsy will be done. Autopsy will be done. Yeah. Autopsy. will be done. Autopsy. 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 Made their claims, and some of them have evidence because most times they record. You know, young ones have a way of recording all these incidents, and they can put it on board so that he can be brought to justice. This is truly he is found guilty, so that he can serve an example for other ones out there who want to be bullying these children, harassing them, you know, and spreading this fear into these young children. Because music in our society today has really put Nigeria on down, and we would not like some few sets of people to come and destroy that for us. Sir. That's one thing, sir. Another thing is that for me, I got an information about a young boy who was also under Naramali's um, pressure. And um, I found out that he had mental health. It's not that came to cry out to a certain uh, club called Jisnova. And I got that information through my DM that I should please help visit this boy, which I did. I made a video. What we posted on social media, the live, the video was already half, the interview was already half done. And I had my reasons for not starting live with the interviews, because I wanted to keep some information private. The videos are with me, I'm going to be giving it to you, sir, so that you can listen to it. I will appreciate, it took a lot of effort for us to get this boy to even come out. The mother really wanted him to come out because She's also suffering from hypertension. She's afraid that she might die anytime. Or if this problem is not solved, and who will now look after this boy who has mental health issues now, and who was, who is one of our strong, I'm sorry. <laughs> so sir, please, I would like this boy to be brought in. If have any questions, find out what exactly is going on with him. Whatever transpired between him and um, Mali, you know, and uh, we are trying on our own part. The NGOs and a lot of our friends out there are really supporting the guy. They've been sending money to him so that he can get treatment. We made arrangements for that. He's already getting treatment as we speak. He's getting treatment already, but they are also very much. They are still afraid. We don't know why. We don't know what must have transpired for them to be so much afraid. But I gave him, I gave them so much confidence. But I still believe they need to go sir. And I told them, I said, nothing will happen to you. Because I know you will protect him and he will get the right treatment. But it's a young man that is just trying to survive, sir. And there's a lot of them out there that are going through the same. I am scared. <laughs> yes, sir. So please, sir. And just, sir. Nobody is gone already. It's a pity. I had that opportunity to be with him in a few times, but unfortunately, he didn't tell us much. I didn't know much. But at least this DJ Splash, right, is still very much alive.